Defense Central attended Europe's biggest arms fair. The Defense and Security Equipment International, which opened its doors on September 12 in London. With over 1,600 defense and security suppliers in attendance, including major industry players, this four-day event held at the Excel Center in London's Docklands showcased the latest advancements in arms and security technologies. The central theme of this 24th edition of DSEI, Achieving an Integrated Force, underscored the importance of inter-force collaboration in an era marked by evolving security challenges. Although official attendance figures are still pending, the exhibition floor was crowded right from the start. So, in this video, let's take a closer look at one of the largest tri-service exhibitions and some of the latest defense technologies. At this year's edition of DSEI, 36 international country pavilions were featured, including North Macedonia's debut appearance following their accession to NATO in 2020. Estonia's pavilion tripled in size, while the North American pavilion doubled, underscoring the event's growing international importance. DSEI 2023 featured several zones, including aerospace, land, naval, security, and joint sectors, with stands spread across the expansive 90,000 square meters exhibition floor. The event also marked the return of the Space Hub, highlighting the increasing significance of the space sector, exemplified by the tripled presence of the UK Space Command. Additional hubs included manufacturing, showcasing the latest industrial developments, and medical, exhibiting cutting-edge advances in the field. But arguably one of the fastest-growing section at this year's edition of DSEI was the Future Tech Hub. With over 75 companies, it now hosts the largest gathering of non-traditional defense firms specializing in cutting-edge fields like cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, quantum computing, and more. This area has grown threefold since its introduction in 2019, reflecting the growing interest in disruptive technologies within the defense sector. Now, let's explore some of the showcased platforms, beginning with those from the UK. BAE Systems the largest defense manufacturer in Britain and Europe's leading security contractor, occupied one of the most prominent stands at DSEI 2023. Among their announcements, BAE Systems unveiled plans for testing a counter-unmanned aircraft system and turreted mortar variants of their armored multi-purpose vehicle, a tracked armored fighting vehicle. Making its international debut at the exhibition, the company introduced a new top plate for the vehicle, designed to seamlessly accommodate a wide range of remotely operated weapon stations and turrets, including a counter-unmanned aerial system weapons platform armed with a 30mm cannon, the same system employed on the US Army's Striker-based vehicle. BAE Systems also unveiled the Next Generation Adaptable Ammunition, or NGAA representing a significant advancement in 155mm rounds. It promises to revolutionize this field by addressing mass production challenges and other critical factors. The NGAA, positioned as the successor to the aging L-15 family in UK service, also eyes a broader market. BAE Systems plans to demonstrate the NGAA in late 2023. Expanding on their collaborations, BAE Systems signed several framework agreements during DSEI, with one notable partnership involving Kinetic, a leading multinational defense firm headquartered in England. This framework agreement is specifically geared toward enhancing collaboration in the realm of autonomous unmanned air systems and mission management systems. The British Army unveiled the next-generation jet-propelled heavy-lift drone, which was arguably the centerpiece of the UK pavilion. Called Hydra 400, this UAV was accompanied by its either mothership. Powered by single spool jet turbines producing 500 N thrust for a maximum lift of 400 kg, the Hydra 400 features hybrid propulsion technology, making it both compact and portable. Notably, it can be transported in the back of a standard pickup truck and readied for flight in just six minutes. The Hydra 400 is proposed to carry the lethal brimstone missile, developed by MBDA. Weighing 50 kilograms, measuring 1.8 meters in length, and featuring a 180 millimeter diameter, the brimstone missile is guided by millimetric wave radar and semi-active laser technology. Comment below if you're interested in an in-depth video on this innovative drone. Lastly, let's discuss the Global Combat Air Program. 
Simply known as GCAP, this program is a collaborative effort involving Italy, Japan, and the UK to develop the next generation fighter aircraft by 2035. Taking center stage at this year's edition of DSEI, GCAP partners, represented by Leonardo, Mitsubishi, and BAE Systems, showcased detailed plans for collaboration and electronic contributions toward the development of the future sixth-generation combat aircraft. Their presence at the event showcased tangible progress within the GCAP initiative, emphasizing their commitment to advancing this cutting-edge project. In early August 2023, Saudi Arabia also expressed interest in joining GCAP, although this development was not officially addressed during DSEI 2023. Presently, a feasibility study is in progress, slated to conclude in the first quarter of 2024, aimed at facilitating potential collaboration between the UK and Saudi Arabia within the GCAP framework. So, what do you think? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, as we have plenty more to share from DSEI 2023.